Guys, Clash Royale is finally getting an update, and I don't know about you guys, but it has felt like such a long time, so... I'm excited to see what it is. Real API made a post here saying an update for Clash Royale set to roll out tomorrow, Monday, October 23rd. So you guys watching this video might actually be coming out in the next few hours or it might already be out when you guys are watching this. So let's see what the update is. It's funny, Royal API looks like they used a AI generated image for their kind of teaser for the update. So they're releasing a game client update tomorrow. It's a minor update, so it's not a massive update. It's going to have some bug fixes and adjustments. Some of these changes are needed to be ready for content that would be released during November next season. And then we see here there's a card 110, bot practice, training camp, user interface improvements, other improvements and fixes. So a lot of fixes, but let's see what it says about card 110 and then also the bot practice and training camp. So the 6th of November, that's the key date you want to remember it says. So that's probably when the next big update is going to come. That's when we're probably going to have the massive update, hopefully the long anticipated update that we've all been hoping is going to you know bring some life back into the game it's kind of a do or die moment for the game not gonna lie we haven't gotten new cards since the monk and phoenix were both released in october 2022 so it's been a whole year since a new card has been released and they're saying royal api is saying there's a new shiny card on the horizon and we overheard goblins chattering about it being a new champion so the new card is likely going to be a champion on the 6th of november which i'm personally okay with i'd much rather have a new champion than evolution now we get into the bot practice in the training camp trainer cheddar trainer jones trainer max the are the names sound familiar you've probably tried the training camp feature before it was relocated to the hamburger menu of the battle tab a long time ago but these bots remain very Redumentary. Okay, I don't know what that word is, but the feature could be useful to test a few quick interactions, but not to practice and train as a realistic battle environment. These basic trainers are being upgraded to royal bots, which will now be skilled bots that will try their best to beat you. So they're changing up the trainers, which is in the training camp, which is pretty cool because it's been something that's been the same for a very long time. So the royal bots will be available in the training camp and there's a new practice button. So the practice button is a new mode. It lets you battle against the deck of a previous opponent from your battle log. You can change your deck or keep it the same and the bot will use the deck with the same levels that you face. This practice option is only available against decks that don't have champions. Royal bots are still learning how to use them. Does that include evolutions too? So you can't do it against decks that have evolutions, but this is a quick look at it. So now, instead of just watch and share, you're gonna have a practice button. So this is actually a pretty big feature coming to the game. In the tomorrow update, I believe, I believe this is coming out tomorrow. This isn't coming out November 6th. The November 6th is the big update. So even though this is just a small update, we're getting a practice button. This is actually something I've wanted to see in the game for a very long time because I can't tell you guys how many people ask like how to play a specific matchup or they just want to practice a matchup they think is difficult where there you go hopefully this is good like hopefully the ai or the bot that you're playing against actually knows a thing or two about the game because if they kind of suck it's not gonna be that helpful but i'm sure it's something they could, they could you know improve upon and maybe it'll eventually be as good as the chess bots that you see that play perfectly i doubt we could get to that point because it's like a real-time game but anywhere close to that would be really cool so the aim of this feature is to give players more options to improve and test new decks and to practice against specific decks that usually give you trouble we haven't yet been able to test the strength of these new trainers so that's kind of what i was wondering i guess we'll find out in a few hours when it drops the update so we'll have to wait until monday to see what they're capable of and then there's some user interface improvements so evolutions and wild cards are some of the newest features in the game and a few ui pop-ups are being added to help players familiarize themselves with them so a new pop-up explaining evolution shards briefly explaining how many you need and how to obtain them okay look i could laugh at this a little bit and be like of course they're gonna show people how to do it because you know the game is very pay to win right now so they're going to want people to understand it so then they're more inclined to like spend money on the evolutions and the wild cards so look i see their strategy but at the same time if it is a, a confusing concept then i guess it's not a horrible thing that they're adding in but i still think it's kind of funny at the same time you guys are going to have to let me know how i feel about this but basically they're showing you know how to power up your cards i mean at least you do get the free evolution like once every few months but that takes a while and then there's a pop-up you know showing you how to place them in your deck okay so a lot of people i feel like already know how to do that but i guess if anyone is confused by it and then the elite levels showing you how to use the elite wild cards there's just that you know icon the exclamation mark you click on it okay i mean 
look, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it's just trying to make people spend more money on them. But look, I, I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world because, you know, it might inform some people who don't know what they are because it's like if you're just getting them unlocked, you might wonder how they work. So I don't know. It's probably an okay thing to have, I'd say. Other improvements and fixes, remove the king level cap on trades and elite cards, removed external storage permissions for Android devices, removed option to convert magic items into elite wild cards if wild card inventory is full, overflow magic items will still convert to elite wild cards, fix for evolve firecracker which activated evolved barbarians anger with each attack, fix the ad explorer which sometimes crashed when watching replays, fix card information screen for elite level cards which didn't have a button to use magic items making it harder to use the evolution shards on them the button to spend wild cards will now be available for level 15 cards as well i mean a lot of these are very like small but i guess anything helps fix troops facing the wrong way after being pushed back fix lightning chest showing incorrect elite wild card total this was a visual bug that caused chests for the lightning choice mechanic to display less elite wild cards obtained than they were actually giving fix for player profiles not showing evolved cards properly in the battle section cards that are able to evolve will still be displayed with the evolution frame and these are in the evolution okay this is getting a little confusing i don't know how many more of these are there. there's only a few more fix issue with chests in the shop offers displaying an incorrect arena cool cool improvements for foldable devices allowing the ui to better adapt to different aspect ratios fix the crash that was triggered when buying elite wild cards from the shop well at the inventory limit this happened when players had the max amount of 400,000 elite wild cards, but tried to buy more from the weekly shop offer. Remove the hoggy bank gold being increased when players cancel a trade. Okay, so that's the update. What do you all think about it? My favorite part of it is probably the practice mode. Everything else is kind of eh, in my opinion, but the biggest update's coming out November 6th anyway. All right, let's take a look and see what other people think about the upcoming update. Six champion and goblins mentioned while speaking of it, could it be, ooh, a goblin champion kind of inspired by Clash Quest? I don't know, possibly, possibly. Nice, they're finally upgrading the training camp. Yeah, I mean, it has been a hot minute. I mean, about time, right? I'm kind of glad about that. There's a bug I'd like to be fixed. Sometimes someone writes something in the clan chat and when I change the window or relaunch the account, the message disappears. Yeah, yeah, that's very true, actually, and comes back only at another time. For videos shared in the chat, if someone watched the oldest one and it appears as the latest. Yeah, 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 they do have to fix the clan chat stuff. That's actually, that's a good one. Not a fan of the AI artwork, not gonna lie. Ain't no way they used an AI image. Dang, some people hating on the... AI picture Royal API used. I mean, it was a little cringe, but I don't know. You know, cut them a little bit of slack. It wasn't the worst thing ever, you know? They were probably just experimenting it. So if tomorrow's update is for fixing bugs in November, we will get an update, right? A new champion's really cool, but we need more things, not only a new card and call an update. I agree there with Clash Royale shorts. We probably need more than <laughs> just a champion at this point for sure. I must say this will be the best update. Out of all the images you could have chosen, you chose an AI image that does not relate to Clash Royale. Oh my god, they're getting so much shit for using that.